Now, what's interesting about the song Blackout is uh, it starts off with rapping. But it's not Mike Shinoda, it's Chester Bennington. Chester actually starts rapping with, in the song, and he does his, probably the hardest course scream in this whole CD. You know, he's, doing, he's rapping, he goes into the chorus himself. Uh, Han has fun, and he kind of messes with Chester's scream a lot. Like, and when, there's like a mini, mini breakdown. And like Chester's, he's screaming. It's like going like it's good. Sped up, slow down. It's like it's it's weird. Uh, the song does change later in the song. It's slower, and as Shinoda's singing, uh, it's that's interesting. Shinoda comes in singing, and Chester comes back singing. Uh, it's interesting. It's a good song. I like it. It's kind of like their old stuff, but it's not their old stuff. This kills me. <laughs> But, uh, Blackout's one of the better songs. It's a little heavier. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Alright, now the song Wretches and Kings. This is the second song that was officially released by Linkin Park from the new album, After the Catalyst. I heard Wretches and Kings, and it gave me hope. <laughs> It is, the, I think, the closest song on the album to their old stuff. Because it starts off with Shinoda rapping, goes to Chester, and back to Shinoda. I enjoy it. Uh, Gave Me Hope is probably my favorite song on the album, personally. Uh, starts off with another speech by the same man who gave the speech in the second song. Uh, so it has guitar on it and all that, this whole band. Uh, the only thing that's weird, I find, I don't know, people let me know about this. I find the song, the style Jamaican. Like the same way in, uh, when they come from it, the notes. I can't remember, it's, it's, I didn't even know all the song titles yet. But yeah, when they come from it, it has like Jamaican drums in it. This song, like, I listened to it the first time, like, okay, Jamaican, like the whole album, if you listen to it, you hear like, ah, like it sounds like they went to another country and made this for another country. Like the way, like, the, the, it seems like another country's culture is involved in the CD. But uh, it's, if you listen to Shinoda's rapping, it sounds really Jamaican. Chester's screaming, to, or the way he does the chorus sounds a little Jamaican too. And uh, what's interesting is the title, Wretches and Kings. You know, it's kind of religious type thing, which is, you know, got, uh, you can tell since the first <laughs> word in this album actually is God. When, Lyrics from the catalyst, God save us every one. So, uh, it's interesting. The new album gives you a lot to think about, but, uh, yeah, it's probably my favorite song on the lyrics. Are very well done. It's not Linkin Park, like, like, I'm not gonna listen to this over Paper Cut or, you know, like, Points of Authority. I place my head, I've forgotten. I can go on for, like, all the songs off Meteor and Hyper Theory, but it is up there. It's a good song. My favorite off the album, probably the only one I actually will listen to a lot after, you know, without listening to the full album. But, uh, yeah, I definitely suggest listening to this song. I'm pretty sure all you hardcore Linkin Link Park fans like me already heard this weeks ago. I will. Yeah. Now, the song Wisdom, Justice, and Love, it's just the song has like a techno beat to it, techno. It's like a very weird song. It comes in and has this voice saying, Not be reconciled with wisdom, justice, and love. Then it keeps repeating it, but it says it gets more like computerized, more deeper. Do not be reconciled with just wisdom, justice, and love. Type thing. It, it just gets computerized and very interesting. So, yeah, try to prove a point with wisdom, justice, and love right there. That's an interesting song. Interesting to say. <laughs> now here's another song which you know the main thing going back and forth singing. Very good, very slow song. Very light. It's enjoyable though. <clears throat> Sorry. Got me some sweet tart. Some mini chews. Okay, uh, back on topic though. Sounds good. It's light. 
two of them singing back and forth is just good. It's <coughs> one thing I like about this album, though. It's the only two Linkin Park songs I actually ever, actually ever heard Shinoda really sing on were in between of Midst Midnight and the No Roads Left, the track, the B track from Midst Midnight. I personally really like Shinoda's voice rapping or singing. I think it's it's not as good as Bennington's, but once in a while Shinoda's voice is very useful, very talented. He's a man of many talents, very musically inclined. It's really, <laughs> I gotta say, he's probably one of my favorite musicians. It's amazing all the stuff he can do. But uh, I like the song. It gives a good message, and it's just I don't know. It's not Lincoln Park. I'm gonna say it probably have every song. It's not Lincoln Park. This CD put me into a depression. <laughs> it's not Lincoln Park. The next track, Fallout. It's actually it's a very light song, very mellow, and uh, the thing is, it actually uses the lyrics from the third song, "Burning in the Skies," "Burning in the Skies," you know, the swimming in the smoke, of bridges eyes burned. It uh, uses those lyrics. It's you know this thing, it's like auto tune. It's, it's it's a mess. I personally do not like it when uh, their voices are morphed that much. But I can I can understand enhancing it. To sound a little bit better, but to actually use it to make it sound like robotic um, in music, I, it doesn't sound natural enough. It doesn't actually flow as well. That's just my opinion, but uh, it sounds good. It's okay. It's interesting. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what to make it. It's one of those like, you know, minute minute long songs. So just there. It's one thing I don't like about the song. Another thing I don't like about it is that uh. I got excited when I heard 15 track Linkin Park album. And half the tracks, like a minute long, just like just instrumentals or like a speech or a lyrics to another song. It's like, oh. Uh, like, I think it's only like actually only had like nine real songs on the album. The actual full length songs. But yeah. Okay, that's that's the 